Um, these are like thumbnails, y'all. So don't mind me. <laughs> I found you, girl. I like being around you. Feel like Kanye, I'm bound to. Sorry if you down, I'm down to. Yeah, I found. What's up, Nani? It's your girl Nani. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And as always, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way in, and or of course on your way out. What is up, y'all? Um, yeah, as y'all can see, y'all, I'm braidless Nani. I took my braids out, guys, so you already know it's back to doing my natural hair. In today's video, as y'all can tell by that title, today we are doing a Q&A, um, kind of like a get-to-know-me kind of Q&A, um, but not really, more so just a Q&A, you know, to talk about things that my subscribers, um, wanted to know, really. Um, I put a thing out on Instagram and then I put a thing out on my community page. If you guys are not really tuned into my community page, that is where I post every video update, every really question I want to ask you guys. Literally just anything to keep in contact with my subscribers. So make sure you guys are tuned into my community page. Today we are really just going to be styling my hair while we answer questions. Kind of like a get ready with me, should I say, because I do have somewhere to go after I make this video. But that is what's going to be happening today. First, I will answer the questions on my community page and then I will transfer over into, into my Instagram. Before we get too far in the video, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yes, guys, um, like I said, I'm going to keep saying this in all my videos just so you guys can keep in tune. I will be doing a cash giveaway once we reach 2,000 subscribers. We are currently at 1,272, I think. So once we get to 2,000, I will be doing doing a cash giveaway to two people guys so don't forget to tell your friends to tell your friends to tell your friends and join so you guys can make some money as well guys i do have my window open because it's really 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 like hot so if you guys do hear any background noises or extra noises that is where it is because i know y'all hear this truck but yeah that's really what's going on we just gonna get straight into this video my first question so like i said i'm gonna do the questions on my community page first so my first question i got was why did you start a YouTube channel? So, to answer that question, I started a YouTube channel because first, when I first uh, started watching YouTube, I used to watch, well, my boyfriend used to watch B. Lou and Zia's all the time. And they like their reaction videos. So that's when really I started to kind of like get, in, like start to like it more. Like kind of like pay attention to it more. So, um, then once he started watching them i kind of started drifting off into my own youtubers which is like like i told you guys before carmen and corey nick and king um smooth geo was out at the time so i started watching them and then i noticed that they really have fun with making their videos and they make money at the same time so it's kind of like they're really like they're doing like they're working but they're also having fun at the same time which i thought was really cool like i didn't I, I never thought like it's a possibility for you to work and have fun because you know when you work like at a job you don't get time to have fun you get time to work and that that's really it so seeing them work and have fun it was just like that's so cool and i would really like to do something like that so like I told you guys, I know I told I told I probably told you guys this already, but when that that's really the main reason I started my YouTube because I wanted to be able to make this my job and be able to kind of like provide for my family while still enjoying what I do. If that answers your question. The next question is who in the YouTube community inspires you the most? So um, for the first, I'm gonna, there's actually two people now, but before there was only one. And I know, I, yeah, I know that I could probably sound repetitive, but honestly guys, like Carmen does, because she really, like I really watched her start from absolutely nothing. And then now she's like blown up, it's like wow, like, like things really can happen. So I wanna say she does, honestly, like there's really nobody, like nobody else. And then the second one I would say, um, that kind of, the second YouTuber I would say inspires me. I don't know if you guys watch her. Her name is um, Leah Lee. And it's, um, it's not more that she kind of inspires me, but I do love her YouTube channel. The aesthetic to her YouTube channel is very pleasing. She's just all around just in a pleasing person. Um, 
I don't know really what it is about her videos. It's just I really love them so much. And it's just she's a YouTuber I grew on that grew on me. And I just love watching her videos now. It's like I never miss an upload. And another reason why she inspires me is because she does it by herself. Like, you know how they have couples channels where people, like, get really popular with, like, couples and stuff like that? No, she has, like, her own... Why is this not spraying? She has, like, her own thing going on. Alright, I think I broke it. Okay. Well, that doesn't work. Um, so she has, like, her own thing going on. She's not really, like work with nobody else it's really just her and it's just amazing how much she grew by doing it just herself so those are two youtubers that kind of inspire me um it says what netflix shows are your favorites <laughs> okay so my favorite so i have a few favorite shows on netflix so my first favorite show on netflix is definitely lucifer if you guys have not seen that show you guys definitely should watch it it's a very very good show i actually never seen it until it came on netflix i've heard about it but like i said i've never really seen it until it did come on netflix but it's a really good show i'm not really gonna tell y'all what it's about because that'll take up probably the whole video because it is a lot of explaining but i'm gonna just say y'all definitely should go check out that show lucifer because it is a really really good show um my next favorite show is the good place i'm gonna tell you three of my favorite shows actually so my next favorite show is the good place and i really like that show because it's funny and i kind of watch it like to go to sleep so it's not like a it's not like a boring show. It's more like a comedy thing. And I don't really know how to explain it. But it's a really good show. And then my last favorite show is Good Girls. And that's like my... I would say that's one of my favorite shows too. Because I watched that like in a matter of two days. <laughs> like that's a really good show as well. If you guys haven't watched any of these shows I just named. I'm definitely telling you y'all should get into them. Because they are really, really good shows. And when you guys are done watching it. Let me know how you guys like them. As much as I did. Because... Yeah, I really, really did like those shows like a whole lot. The next one says, where do you see yourself in one year today? One year from today, I see myself doing exactly what I'm doing now as far as YouTube wise. I see myself growing in YouTube, like my, my YouTube has grown. I see myself doing YouTube as a work, like I always said I wanted to. And... I see myself with my daughter, she'll be three. I see, I see myself with my family, my boyfriend. I see my life better than what it is today, but I also see my life doing, being, I also see myself doing exactly what I said I wanted to do, which is make YouTube my full-time job. So that is what I see myself doing. All right, guys, now we're going to move on to my Instagram questions. I posted on my story. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys definitely should because I think I'm pretty lit on Instagram. Okay. It says, how's your mental health? What are some other, con what are some other content you would like to bring to YouTube? Okay, so I'm going to start with what other content I would like to bring to YouTube. So I would like to bring more family content into YouTube, um, more content with my daughter, um, more content with my family, um, just doing family stuff. Um, and I say that because um, I have, a, I've had had my family on my YouTube channel, but I've never had my daughter on my YouTube channel. Um, my boyfriend's on here from time to time, but it's never like a family thing. It's usually like a prank with him. Um, but I would love to bring more family content to YouTube. Um, just because I would love to bring more family content to YouTube just because that's something that I see like I see other families do and I really enjoy watching them. So um if I enjoy watching them, I know there's other people out there that enjoys it as well. And then it says, How's your mental health? So to get into this question. Um, mentally, I'm, I'm good. Um, I'm not going to say I'm great because nobody is ever great, but I feel like I'm in a better state than I was. Um, there was a period of time where I was really, really sad all the time. Um, did 
Did I sneeze three times? Cause I heard that's the look. So there was a period of time where I was really, really sad all the time. I wouldn't say I was like, well, actually I really don't know. I'm not gonna label myself, but I was pretty sad all the time. Um, I, I don't think I have no edge control in here, but we'll see. Um, I feel a lot better. I feel kind of more confident in myself when I do things. Um, I'm not as, um, I'm not as sad anymore. You know, I've learned to kind of like not let my emotions sit on my sleeve. Um, I've learned to that everything kind of doesn't need a reaction. Before I used to think literally everything needed a reaction, but I've learned that literally not everything needs a reaction. I've learned that sometimes things are better left unsaid. You don't always have to speak about things. Um, so as far as my mental health goes, I feel like my mental health is really getting better. Um, and I am happy about that because like I said before, I was it was a period of time where I was really sad all the time and I just kind of wanted to be alone and I just really didn't feel like I had it in me to do anything. And now I'm doing literally everything that I felt like I couldn't and I'm just kind of, I'm just more confident in myself. Like I really don't, it doesn't matter. I don't really care about like other people's opinions anymore. I don't care like how other people view me anymore. It's more so just all about myself and my well-being. So yeah. <laughs> and the next one says, what's your favorite quote? TV show and rapper so my favorite quote right now is I don't know if you guys ever heard of that thing B or I, I, I don't think that like that's the exact quote but it's like basically saying let things happen whatever happens happens and that's true I feel like that's true because um, what's for you will be for you which basically means let things just happen how they happen. Whatever's for you is gonna be for you. What's not for you is just not gonna be for you. Um, sometimes everything is not for everybody. Um, and I had to learn that kind of the hard way because I used to try to make everything for me. I used to try to make everything my, like be my way. And I had to learn like literally not everything is for you, not everything is good for you. It might be good for somebody else, but just because it's good for somebody else doesn't mean it's good for you, if that makes sense. So I had to learn that. And um, I wasn't really upset about it because like I said, you learn new things about yourself every day. And I definitely learned that about myself. And I'm kind of happy that I did. How did I get a knot here already? That is crazy. But yeah, that is my favorite quote. My favorite TV show right now that I'm watching is Girlfriends. I watch that every night before bed. <laughs> so yeah, that's one of my favorite shows right now. Um, and then it says my favorite rapper. Um, my favorite rapper right now is Tusi. Um, y'all, I don't know if y'all heard about him, but to be honest, my boyfriend put me on to him when he first came out. And ever since then, he's been one of my top rap, like one of my top favorite rappers. Um, He's just very, I don't really know how to explain it, but he is one of my favorite rappers. Very lyrical, very, I don't know. And he's very humble too. Like I watch his um, Instagram lives and he interacts with his fans. So I really do love that about him um, and stuff like that. So that is my favorite rapper right now. And next it says, how was it starting YouTube? Y'all, it was really, really hard. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like, I know people, like, it, it may seem easy, but, and it, it's really not. Like, you have to kind of, like, learn the basics before actually, like, starting a YouTube channel, if that makes sense. Because you can get on here and make a video, because anybody can make a video. If you guys see people do it every day. People record fights, people record themselves. Like, anybody can make a video, but making a youtube video is different you got to make sure you add in your effects you got to make sure you add in your intro you got to make sure you have this you got to make sure you're pleasing your fans you got to make sure people are going to want to watch your content it's not like just posting a fight video and no people are going to watch it because it's a fight you got to make sure that people are going to watch it because of what you're talking about and nine times out of ten it's harder 
because people don't want to sit and watch you talk. People don't want to sit and listen to you talk. And what I learned is if you can't even sit through your own video, what makes you think somebody else is going to sit through your video and watch it? You know? So that's um, something that I learned while doing YouTube. I know nobody asked that, but that's just some game. The next one says, what inspires you? Um, to be honest, my daughter inspires me. Literally everything I do or anything I do is really for her. Um, I know some people might think that's silly, but in all reality, she really is what inspires me. She's what keeps me going. She is what keeps me kind of like holding on. I know it sounds like weird and strange a little bit, but it's really the truth. Um, I know like um, some people may think like I should look at more things like outside of the box on what inspires me, but there's really nothing else that that makes me want to do what I do or make or keeps me going but her. Um, maybe some people will say they're family, but she is my family and she's really the reason I do any and everything. Literally, I know y'all probably like, um, well, like she's a baby, but she's my baby, and I love her. So, I don't know how I feel about these two curls at the front. I make, I think I might straighten them back because this one looks a little weird. Um, this one, this one came out perfect, but the other one looked a little weird. But, um, no, nah, actually, I think I'm gonna keep it like this. But, um, yeah, so she is what really inspires me. She is what keeps me going. She is literally the reason why I do any and everything. The next question, it says, where, y'all, and I know I'm flat ironing this part over and over again, y'all. My natural hair people, please don't come at me in these comments. <laughs> um... The next one says, where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, in five years, I see myself um, still being on YouTube. Not gonna lie to y'all. Like I said, I wanna make this something that I can make into not like a career, but that I could benefit off for a while. But I see myself still on YouTube. I see myself, I don't see myself still living where I'm living. I see myself um, kind of like, dis not distancing myself, but like exploring the world. I see myself exploring the world and kind of like getting out the way, not being kind of into everything. So that's where I see myself. Why do, I don't get, why can you never get two things the same now? Oh my God. Um, okay, the next question says, What's your favorite part about being a mother and your daughter is my birthday twin? So my favorite part about being a mom is literally watching my daughter grow. Like literally when I when I first like found out I was pregnant, I didn't think not that I didn't think I would be as happy as I am now because I love my daughter to death and I'm like I'm I'm like so happy to be her mother. But it's just, I didn't think I would be so into, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, you never really know what is gonna, what's gonna happen when you become a mom. Like you just don't. So when I really held her in my arms for the first time, it was just like amazing. Like I just couldn't believe, like I just gave birth to another human being. Um, so I was in, not shock, but I was just really like proud of myself. Like, like damn, Nanda, you really did that. Like it's something that I really did. Um, and I was just really happy about it and I just was in awe like I really have another human being to look up to and I have somebody to call me mom and I was just happy y'all I forgot to do this part right here um, but literally my favorite part about being a mom is watching her grow every day is a new adventure with your kids um, literally you just never know what's gonna happen in that day um, like 
she's learning how to talk she's learning how to express the things that she wants she's learning how to express things that she doesn't want she's just learning every day and i love to experience watching her do that because i watched you come out of me and you didn't say a word you didn't know how to express any of those things you didn't know how to walk you didn't know how to talk and now you're doing all those things which makes it 10 times better because it's like I know that I'm not failing you as a mom. I'm teaching you the things that you need to be taught. You're learning the things that you need to be learned. Like, it's just an all around amazing feeling to know that you're doing something right as a parent. So that's really what, that's really what my favorite part about being a mom is knowing that I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be. Um, she's not missing a beat. I'm not missing a beat. It's literally, happening right before our eyes and that's my favorite part about it because it literally does happen right before your eyes and I know people say you need to cherish um they say cherish the cherish the, the moments when they're young and I used to not agree with that but I now agree with that 110 percent because literally babies grow up super super fast they grow up right before your eyes and you just <laughs> nothing really you can do um, so yeah, that is my favorite part about being a mom. <laughs> so guys, that was all the questions that I had today. Um, like I said, I didn't have a lot, um, but um, those were really all the questions. And I really appreciate each and every question you guys asked. Because you guys did get to know me a little bit further than just me talking. And just me kind of just being here. Um, this is the end result of the look. I don't know if you guys messed with it, but I really, really do love it. Um... These are like thumbnails, y'all, so don't mind me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really do appreciate all the questions that you guys ask. Um, my subscribers are more than amazing. You guys are all more than amazing. Um, I appreciate everything that you guys do from subscribing to sharing my content. Literally everything. Um, you guys are really phenomenal, and I really love my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being a part of Nani Gang. Like always, it's Nani Gang or No Gang, and that's on that. <laughs> but yeah guys thank you so much for tuning in i had so much fun doing these questions and answers with you guys my hair looks bomb as f and yeah um i'll see you guys again in my next video i'm not really sure what my next video is going to be so like i always tell y'all please comment some video ideas y'all want to see because your girl is running out but i'm gonna keep trying to give it to y'all but i'm running out <laughs> so yeah guys um Send some content to my DMs, send some content to my community page. Just send me some content you guys would like to see. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I found you, girl, I like being a